Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ADC inside uh, the bigger uh, triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, segment uh, CD is uh, A units, whereas uh, this uh, segment uh, AB is uh, 2A, and moreover, this angle uh, DBC is uh, 75 degrees and this uh, angle uh, BCD is uh, 15 degrees and furthermore uh, this angle uh, CAD is represented by X and now our task is uh, to calculate uh, this angle uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And now we are going to think outside the box. And here we have connected this point B with some point E on this line CD, such that this segment BE is equal to this segment CE. And as a result, we get this triangle BEC. And we can see that this is an isosceles triangle since this side length uh, equal to this uh, side length. And moreover, since uh, this is an isosceles triangle, so therefore uh, this angle is going to be congruent to this uh, angle. If this angle is 15 degrees, uh, then this angle has got to be 15 uh, degrees as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, BDE. Let's make an observation. We know that this uh, angle is 15 degrees and this uh, whole angle is uh, 75 degrees. So therefore, uh, this uh, remaining angle is going to be 60 degrees. And since the sum of the angles in a triangles are 180 degrees, so therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 30 degrees. And now let's assume that this segment uh, BD is uh, X. And now let's focus once again on this uh, triangle uh, BDE. And we can see that this is a special uh, 30, 60, 90 triangle. And here I have copied down uh, this uh, triangle BDE over here, such that uh, its side length uh, BD is uh, X, as you can see over here. And now let's make an observation. We know that this uh, 30 degrees is our smallest uh, angle. So therefore the side opposite to that angle is going to be our smallest uh, leg. Whereas uh, this uh, 90 degree is our largest uh, angle. So therefore the side opposite to that one is going to be our longest uh, leg. So therefore in such kind of 30, 60, 90 triangle, uh, the longest leg is uh, twice the smallest uh, leg. In other words, uh, if the smallest leg is one unit, uh, then the longest leg is going to be two. And this third leg is going to be square root of uh, three. And since in our case, our smallest leg is X, so therefore our longest leg is going to be two times uh, X. And this uh, third side is going to be X uh, times uh, square root of uh, three. So therefore, in our case, our uh, BE length uh, this length is going to be two times uh, x and the side uh, DE is going to be x uh, times uh, square root of uh, three. And now let's make an observation. We know that this uh, side uh, BE is equal to this side uh, CE and we know our BE side is two times x. Uh, so therefore uh, CE side is going to be two x uh, as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, CD length is going to be 2x uh, plus uh, x times square root of 3. Let me write down uh, 2x uh, plus uh, x uh, times uh, square root of uh, 3. And moreover, we know that uh, this uh, CD length uh, is uh, A as well. So therefore, I can write uh, this, this A equal to 2 times uh, x uh, plus uh, x times uh, square root of uh, 3. And now we can see we have x is in common over here. So therefore we can write a equal to x uh, times uh, 2 plus uh, square root of uh, 3. 
And now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 plus square root 3 to isolate x. This is gone. So therefore our x turns out to be a divided by 2 plus square root of 3. And now we are going to rationalize the denominator by multiplying by its conjugate. So therefore I'm going to multiply by 2 minus square root of 3 and divide at the same time by 2 minus square root of 3 as well. Now let's go ahead and multiply a with this one on the numerator. At the denominator we are going to multiply these two binomials as well. So therefore our x value is going to be a times 2 minus square root of 3 divided by now let's focus on this uh, denominator and here I have copied it down and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b times a minus b could be written as a square minus b square if I call this one a and this is b then we could write this one as 2 square minus square root of 3 whole square so therefore we got 4 minus 3 which turns out to be equal to 1. So therefore when we multiply these uh, denominators we get simply 1 at the denominator. So therefore our x value turns out to be simply a times uh, 2 minus uh, square root of uh, 3. Let me go ahead and distribute this thing. So this could be written as x uh, equals to 2 times a minus uh, a times uh, square root of uh, 3. And now let's make an observation. We know that this whole side length AB is 2 times A. Whereas this segment BD is X. So therefore this segment AD is going to be 2A minus X. So therefore I can write over here our AD length is 2A minus uh, x but we know our uh, x value is 2a minus a times square root of 3 so therefore i'm going to replace x uh, by this one so let's go ahead and make a substitution i can write down uh, 2a minus uh, 2a minus uh, a times uh, square root of uh, 3 let's uh, distribute this negative sign so we got uh, 2a minus uh, 2a plus uh, a times uh, square root of uh, 3 and here we can see 2a minus 2a they are gone so therefore our uh, a d length uh, turns out to be a times uh, square root of uh, 3 and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, a d c whose uh, side lengths are uh, a and a times uh, square root of 3 and moreover this angle is 90 degrees and here we can see that this is our special 30, 60, 90 triangle. Since our smallest leg is A, which is right over here, CD. And our longest leg is 2 times A. And this third leg, AD, is A times square root of 3, as you can see over here. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, smallest angle is uh, 30 degrees and this uh, angle is uh, 60 degrees. So thus, after all the calculations and manipulations, uh, our angle X turns out to be 30 degrees. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.